What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two news stories for you. I'm in a brand new hotel because uh, you know, I got hooked up with a hotel room here. Uh, so we switched hotels. Um, and if you could see the sinks, they're disgusting. Like they got clogged, they have those black stuff in them so I have to go back down to the concierge and get our room changed but um regardless the two new stories of the day are all about again the Galaxy S23 Ultra it's like an up and down roller coaster ride of a phone release coming because we've heard good stuff we've heard bad stuff we've heard stuff that's in the middle and I want to talk about the brightness of the display because yesterday we talked about the brightness of the display being not as bright as the iPhone 14 Pro Max iPhone 14 Pro Max will still have a brighter display than the s23 ultra by a fairly large margin at that which is crazy because Samsung makes the iPhone display well some more information has come out and it's not all bad news in terms of Samsung versus Samsung phones s23 versus s22 ultra so the information that's coming out saying officially and exclusively s23 ultra will support 1750 nits of brightness but when you reach the highest degree under the Sun the brightness of the colors will be higher and clearer than the s22 ultra so if you have an S22 Ultra and you upgrade to the S23 Ultra or maybe you just want to decide between the two and you want a screen that's going to look better outside directly under the sun, the S23 Ultra will probably be your best bet because it will have it will get brighter and clearer under those conditions. Now, versus an iPhone, it still shouldn't beat that phone, but it'll at least beat the last generation of the S22 Ultra, which I guess at the end of the day is a good thing. Why wouldn't you want it to at least, at the very least, beat um, that? And then we have one other story, and it is about, sorry, I'm like doing this with one hand. Um, it's about the cameras on the front of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So on the S22 Ultra, the front camera is 40 megapixels. On the S23 Ultra, and we've kind of talk, spoken about this, will be 12 megapixels. So the megapixel count is not impressive versus last generation, it's a lot less. But the information that's coming out is that the 12 megapixel front camera will have pro mode on that front camera, which again, that's a good thing. You, if you want complete control like you do the back cameras on pro mode, uh, I would guess a lot of people still don't use pro mode. There are people that use it, so if you're gonna harp on this and say, I use it or use it, I understand that, but I think it's a, not a lot of people that actually do use it in the grand scheme of things. Now, also night photography in the front camera, photo and video quality will be improved due to dual pixel technology. This gives you the best photo or picture in the lowest possible light camera and has become lower, but the quality is higher. So basically what the information that's coming out is saying is that if you get the S23 Ultra, the front camera, even though it's lower megapixels, should look better quality than the S22 Ultra um, in terms of the quality of the photo the lighting should be more so improved um, and that's again a good thing it's just when you when you match numbers to numbers you've got especially on a, on a consumer level if, if someone's that um, uh, smart about things uh, they might be like oh you know what this is a downgrade why do they downgrade this premium phone versus last year's phone but at the end of the day apples to apples when you're taking photo to photo the s23 ultra should still look better what do you guys think about you know some of these things being downgraded in a way but maybe being better at the end of the day how does it make you feel well, i'm very curious what you guys think have a great day um, i will be heading back to san diego tomorrow morning so the next time i do this video should be unless i change things up and i just want to get the video done with should be back to my regularly scheduled program have questions if you guys leave me a question and um, some graphics and things like that so have a great day we'll see you down the road peace